It's not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. See, see what I'm thinking. See how I'm analyzing the data. Like I tell every day, the data, the data released us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the market to mess with us psychologically so they can keep us off balance and keep us making bad decisions. Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The, the institutions are obligated to report their holdings. The 13F, the 13Gs. Okay. So when they report it, that information becomes open to the public. And as of September 8th, as of September 8th, the institutional holdings or the reported holdings of institutions, the quantity of 13F filings, is 121% of the float. We're talking 652 million shares are owned by the institutions. Now tell me, if the institutions own 121% and we, the retail investors, own 90%, that's over 200% of the float that's legally owned. There is no way the SEC doesn't see a problem with this. There's no way the DTCC doesn't see a problem with this. There's no way the CFTC doesn't see a problem with this. The institutional investors are reporting a ownership of AMC shares of 121% of the float. It's outrageous. And the only explanation for this is criminal behavior, corruption, fraud and shenanigans on the part of the market makers the hedges and all their co-conspirators and the sec does nothing we pay them to protect us we pay them to protect the market but what do they do they do absolutely nothing it's the most outrageous thing in the world and they're at the point where they don't even hide it anymore in their 13f filings they're reporting that they own a 121% of the AMC float. And we know mathematically that is totally impossible because retail investors own 90% of the float. And I believe we own a lot more than that. But the fact that they're allowed to do it, the fact that the evidence is so overwhelming, the fact that it's right there in our face and the SEC sits on the sidelines and does absolutely nothing is the most jarring part to me. They're not even trying to hide the criminality anymore. They do it right there. The crime of the century in real time and our law enforcement agencies. Well, let me don't say that because I believe that the DOJ has an investigation that's ongoing. I believe they have an active investigation and the evidence of the fraud, the corruption, manipulation is so overwhelming that they're going to have an easy case to prosecute. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button. And tell me what you think about institutional owners owning 121% of AMC float. I mean, it's the most outrageous criminal thing in the whole world. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.